Mark from Chicago. Hey, Mark. Is curious to know about the pros and cons of virtualization versus dual booting. He says, I'm going to upgrade and reinstall my Windows computer and was thinking about dual booting it with Ubuntu 9.10. Okay, so pros and cons of virtualization uh, versus uh, dual, dual booting. booting. Again, this is a big question and it boils down to what do you want to do? If you're gaming, I would say dual booting has pros over virtualization. Uh, if you are doing video production, same deal. If, however, you're doing Office Suite and QuickBooks or other billing software that just requires Windows, then virtualization is the solution for you uh, because it saves you rebooting, especially when you get into stuff like uh, uh, seamless mode and stuff like that. That's really cool. We'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, but, Mark, what, what it essentially boils down to is virtualizing is virtual hardware. So when you install, say, Windows XP into a Linux system using VirtualBox, as an example, the hardware that that Windows XP sees is actually fake hardware. It's virtual. It's, uh, it's VirtualBox's emulation of your real hardware in most cases. Um, so that can have benefits and uh, negative effects depending on the scenario. So benefits would be you don't have to worry about finding driver disks. Even if your motherboard has some confusing network adapter, once you install your VirtualBox guest editions, the network is going to work in that Windows XP box because it's a virtual network adapter, and VirtualBox recognizes that and installs the proper drivers. So that's a big advantage. Um, disadvantages, just to give you a couple quick ones, you've got no FireWire support. So if you do any, that's why I say v uh, video production. If you do anything with FireWire, our cameras here are FireWire. I wouldn't be able to use those in a virtual machine because you can't virtualize FireWire. Uh, unless things have changed since I last looked into it, I don't think it's possible. Uh, USB can also be a problem if you're using the open source edition of a virtualization technology like VirtualBox, because USB is a proprietary uh, protocol, a proprietary, uh, I don't know what the proper term is, but it's, it's a proprietary thing, USB uh, and USB 2.0. So if you want to have real hardware, uh, access to USB 2.0 devices, say an iPod or something like that, you've got to use a non-open source edition, something that doesn't uh, limit you as far as that uh, USB access goes. But without knowing exactly what you want to do, it's really hard to say, so I'm just throwing some pros and cons at you like you've requested. Gaming work is going to work across the board better as a dual boot because then you've got real physical access to real hardware. The game, uh, games, especially these days, 3D games and things, really uh, are powered by the GPU, the graphics processing unit on your graphic card. It's like a, it's what powers the, the 3D graphics. Uh, while virtualization has rudimentary, and, and I've used that word too many times tonight, but while, while virtualization is introducing hardware acceleration and things like that, it's still not as seamless as true, uh, you know, a true uh, Windows install as far as your Windows games go.